Hey, this is Isara with UX in Motion, and uh, we're going to do a real quick motion and usability crit on the iOS app switcher. Hey, okay, so here we are in the app switcher in iOS. And you can see there's a lot of things they're doing right here. They're using some UX and motion principles in a really great way. Obviously, one of the first things you notice is this dimensionality that creates this spatial cognitive narrative. Um, you also notice like the obscuration when the layers are kind of like fading. Again, it kind of pulls your attention into the foreground. And then third, you'll notice this parallax effect that's happening that's really, really nice that again sort of reinforces the visual by pulling your attention and your sort of cognitive awareness towards the object that's moving the uh, quickest, which is also in the uh, foreground. So there's a lot of effective things going on from a usability and motion standpoint. They're using motion to convey meaning and to solve problems, which is great. Now the thing I wanted to call out that wasn't really working for me that felt like a, just a pretty easy opportunity was you'll notice how the text here, the text description, sort of fades in and out. And there isn't really a purpose or a method. It's not solving a problem. It's not really conveying meaning. It's sort of an added um, motion that's happening in real time that feels unnecessary. And it's sort of sort of breaking the, um, the narrative of the text being associated with the icon and this sort of layer object here. My recommendation would be to not have it fade. I personally feel like it's creating sort of a unnecessary cognitive load for users and it really doesn't add much to the whole thing. If you wanted it to fade, I might fade it with the icon itself when it, the whole thing goes out. Um, but I would have these two be attached. I find that people, when they disattach the text and the icon, it sort of breaks this fundamental narrative and it starts to feel a little weird. You start to question what you're seeing and it just adds to the whole cognitive load and the experience when you want to be focusing on simplifying and keeping it really clean and, and simple. So anyway, I'd love, love to know what you think in the comments, if you agree, um, or what sort of recommendations you would have for how to you know, solve this problem with motion. If you want to learn how to create high fidelity prototypes from your design source files, head over to uxinmotion.net, find the tutorials link, and check out the tutorials that work best for you. I think you'll be really, really happy. Again, that's uxinmotion.net.